the Nazi tool is for filling data gaps in time series based on the river connection. So far, I'm on the first page where I have developed the tool to find the river connection based on the stream network that we can download from USGS and points of interest. Uh, this tool will use those two data to generate a simple connection network that we can use as an input for other things. This is one example use of the generated network. So basically on left we have a simple network with uh, major dams controlled by US Army Corps in Trinity Basin. And on the right I have calculated uh, the cumulative storage capacity of all the dams of stream of certain points. So using that connection the cumulative column is calculated only by summing of the dams that are upstream of certain points. So the tributary dams are calculated using only the dams in that tributary. Uh, we can go to QGIS to see how the plugin can be used and what output it gives. So we have a JS file with two layers. So basically we have the river connections and then we have points of interest so we can run the plugin using the stream network and the points i'll use site numbers for the optional field so it will show those site numbers to show the connection which point is connected to which and the file it will create will have all those connections extracted from the streams we passed originally so it will only have the subset of those streams we can run the same uh, algorithm with the same inputs but if we simplify connections then it will generate the same output but in js file instead of the whole stream it will only have single line connecting the points of interest so this way we can generate connections in two way if we are making a map or doing some analysis it can we can extract those connections and do other analysis or we can also show the map without all the uh, extra streams that were there originally and only show the connection between our point of interest. That's it for the introduction. Uh, if you want to use the tool, it's in my GitHub, but you will have to compile it yourself. Uh, it is the binary. For the plugin, you can just copy it into the QGIS plugin folder, but for binary, you need to compile it in Rust.